Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And in this episode, I might spit a little bit of venom at somebody. Um, but not at Matthew Tolmack here, who's one of the producers of the film. I saw this link right before, I'm getting ready to go to work. I got like 15 minutes left, so I'm going to do this really quick. Um, uh, they post it on Facebook, but it's at their site. I'll put the link to the Facebook video down below, because uh, that's the only link I have on me right now. And MTV News talked to Matthew uh, at the... Uh, event for Jumanji, because he's a producer of Jumanji. And of course, they asked him almost no Jumanji questions whatsoever, pretty much just Venom questions, uh, which I just think is the height of unprofessionalism. Uh, but that aside, we're gonna I'm not going to spend too much time throwing salt at this guy. He sucks at his job. Uh, but we got a little bit of information out, I guess. Uh, but the main thing I want to focus on is that Matthew Tomac, and you can watch the whole video down below, prepare to be, you know, cringe and stuff over this reporter. Uh, but Matthew says, like, look, we're making a Venom movie. That's what we're focused on. Whether it's part of a shared universe or not, you know, that's that's not our focus. Our focus is just Venom right now. It's already hard enough to tell a movie without Spider-Man and Venom. So we got a lot, you know, we got to do. We got a lot. We got to make sure we get right. So that's what we're focusing on. And he says, uh, also, um, it's great working with Tom Hardy. He takes a lot of risks. He's a, he's a great actor. So it was cool to hear, you know, some of that. Uh, obviously, we've seen some of that and some of the footage and stuff. So... Uh, it's good to hear this producer uh, talk about Tom in that way and how when him and Avi Arad, you know, approached him to be in the movie, and they, they knew they had the right guy when they were doing the, going through the casting phase and stuff. They're like, this guy, he cares. He wants to do this movie. He likes the character. And he also mentioned something that should drive home the fact that they're not going to tie uh, Flash Thompson's origin story uh, when he was Venom into this at all. Because he says, look, Eddie Brock is, he can be funny in a dark way. He's embittered. Uh, but he's also um, a truth teller who made serious mistakes. And that is Eddie Brock. Uh, if you, especially when you're looking at the books. Like if you read Dark Origin, they kind of paint Eddie as a liar ever since he was a kid. But all the other books that David Michelini wrote, which that's what they're basing uh, their movie off of, is Lethal Protector and uh, David Michelini's uh, run on those. Uh, and then some of the Amazing Spider-Man stuff. And then also um, The Planet of the Symbiotes. So you see that there's a focus there on the character. And he's the truth teller that made mistakes. So that is the journalist who screwed something up and gets ousted. And I'm hoping it still involves Sin Eater. I'm hoping they tell that storyline where Eddie is, you know, pretty sure he all he wanted to do was impress his father. He tried academics. Good grades didn't help. His dad still hated him. Uh, he didn't get his dad's attention when he won trophies for playing sports. And he didn't get his dad's attention when he became a journalist until he was ousted as a fraud because he was interviewing a guy he thought was a serial killer and it turned out was not the case. So everything Eddie wrote, it totally burned this uh, this company called the Daily uh, Globe, not the Daily Bugle, but the Daily Globe. It was a rival uh, newspaper that started to sell as Eddie was writing these stories, uh, getting one-on-one -on -one interviews with uh, the serial killer called the Sin Eater. And, uh, and then after the Sin Eater was exposed by Spider-Man, it turned out to not be the guy Eddie was interviewing. Eddie, like, you know, get, gets ousted. And that's really great to see uh, someone who was seeking the truth, screwing up at it, and getting shunned by society for it. Uh, it's something that connects today. You may not agree with him and you may want to shun Eddie if you were if he was a real person in the real world and he did this, you may want to oust him and be part of the, the, the tribe that gets him fired and all that stuff. Um, and that's what makes it interesting because no matter what side of the fence you fall on, uh, whether you would you know burn him at the stake or whether you would you know give him a second chance, that's what they're trying to encompass in the story. Does he deserve a second chance? Is there redemption? So just in those little lines there, you can kind of pull a lot from it, a lot of information from it, which is why when you're a reporter and you're at an event like this, you ask a, you ask about Jumanji and you ask like four or five questions about Jumanji. And then at the end, you get one very specific question uh, in there. Uh, like, you know, don't waste your time with shared universe crap. Don't do all that stuff. Just go like in this storyline, is it the origin story of Eddie Brock, you know, being um, being a reporter and then being ousted? And then you then you can maybe get an answer like that that you can pull more information of, and then you could be like, I'm doing now, and you can make a whole video on it and talk about it. Uh, so that one line, truth teller who made mistakes, is pretty much what made me want to make this video because that showed me that they're not doing Agent Venom and they're not doing that, like changing Eddie Brock's background to a cliche. Like Eddie Brock is not 
action man to an extent. He there is some depth to that character, despite him just being like a, a anti Spider Man character at first. Uh, there is some depth to them that they've explored over the years. He's not just um, explosion man, you know. Like he's not. I have a military background and I got injured and then I get put in a special program and I get superpowers. Like he's not that character. That's Captain America. There's other great characters that take that trope and and put a unique spin on it or just deliver it the way it's meant to be delivered and it's just cookie cutter but it works because the performances and the actors and all that stuff so in this case we're not getting agent venom uh that to me solidifies that they're sticking to the true origin of, of eddie brock and they're they may make some tweaks but it doesn't look like they're making any major ones and it doesn't sound like he didn't mention military at all so again if you're a reporter out there, don't ask the same question three three different ways um, to get an answer that, that will make you happy as a fanboy. Remember you have a job, and remember you're there to talk about Jumanji. Um, you know, and luckily you made a buffoon of yourself, and I was able to make a video based off these quotes. But if I had your job, I, I would do my job. I would talk about Jumanji and fit one Venom question at the end. So just a note out there, uh, you know, like I said, it, it gets me a little salty when I see these people that get great opportunities to do things that a lot of us would like to do, and they act like a, just a buffoon. They just act like an idiot, and uh, and they act unprofessional. More more importantly, they act unprofessional, and and that's just. I hate seeing that. So um, if you want to get through the cringe fest of this interview, you can watch it down below. But luckily, Matthew Tolmat gives you some inf information that is uh, that is interesting and worth discussing. So let me know what you think down below um, about anything I said in this video. If you want to roast me for roasting this guy, that's fine too, whatever. Uh, I'm just a dude with a, a small YouTube channel. I record everything on my phone, but I try to show a level of professionalism. You've seen me on red carpets. You've seen me do interviews for like little little events like Lego movies and stuff, but I take it all seriously. Everything that I get to do uh, in that regard, I will take seriously because those opportunities aren't just handed out to people, uh, except in this case. looks like he's someone's friend and he just got this job, but he's terrible at it. So anyway, uh, that's what I got to say. That's the venom I'm spitting in this episode. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I got to get to work. See you in the future. Peace.